can say 300 people are working at a time on these platforms. And uh, they talk in 10 different languages. Uh, we came uh, together and we worked like absolute members of one family. Working because you are leaving together, you are working around the clock. And every night, this concreting of these shells has been done in all in one, one piece, one, one go. Uh, 48 hours has taken to complete one of these shells. The hundreds of workers developed a spirit of reverence about their work. Arriving workers often performed a brief puja, or prayer, before beginning their work. Together with the tons of dolomite aggregate and pure white silica sand, these workers poured something of the soul of India into this structure. With every step, every process, every day, the work of these hundreds of men and women met world-class standards. The inner surfaces were bush hammered by some 100 workers harnessed to platforms at dangerous heights, removing a thin layer of concrete to expose the aggregate. One can say easily its entire project is a handicraft because of uh, the, uh, all the uh, items which have been uh, done with the uh, help of people that they are really craftsmen, like 400 carpenters at a time, making 40,000 square meter of formwork, something like this, or bush hammering of hundreds of, uh, you can say near about 9,000 square meter bush hammering, uh, with the help of chisel and uh, sort of just a small hammer and chisel by hand. This sort of work, that, that, that feeling was developed at site, that everybody has something to contribute. And that was the spirit of teamwork that, we, uh, that could really do this job in India. This spirit of unity, transcending culture, race, language and faith, was critical to the project during the long years of construction.